So this is a bottle of whiskey, believe it or not. And welcome back to another video here on the Coopsy Channel. Today we're drinking a whiskey. Yes, this is a new make spirit that was then aged in a mini barrel that my brother made back in 2013. And yeah, let me grab it for you. So here is the bottle that's in question today. And yes, it has some information on the front that my brother put on here. It is batch one. It was aged for two months in a mini barrel. I do not know the actual volume or the size or what type of barrel it was and all the information. That's all I know is it was aged for two months and it was in a barrel about yay big by yay big. That's as much as I remember about seeing. And it was originally Jim Beam Ghost and it was bottled on December 24th, 2013. So yeah, let me grab a Glen Claren and see what it tastes like. All right, let's go for a nose. Okay, so the first thing that comes off is, uh, it is kind of a lower proof. I believe the Jim Bean Ghost originally is a 80 proof from what I remember off the top of my head. You can definitely smell that. It seems like the proof probably rise a little bit maybe. I'm not sure, and this bottle has been at this level since 2013, or I don't know if he's been drinking it over the years or whatnot. I don't know the status and how long it's been like this. But yeah, the first thing that comes out as well is uh, definitely like an apple and cinnamon. It smells like someone literally took an apple and like a cinnamon stick, like the whole stick, and shoved it into the barrel and let it age as well. It just smells like an apple pie. Got a nice hint of vanilla, almost like a nuttiness as well. Yeah, but it's like a different nuttiness. It's like a, like a muted kind of like a roasted nut. Yeah, this is definitely d different. This is probably one of the first times I've actually tasted something that was aged in a small barrel. Hmm. Yeah, that cinnamon and apple is right up there in the front. That's literally all the dominant notes that's going on in here. Yeah, but you get that vanilla and like almost like a basic bourbon as well. So let's go in for the palate. Okay, the palate is not that straightforward. It's not like the apple and cinnamon. But I am getting that cinnamon and getting that barrel in there. Definitely getting that barrel impact as well. But it's not exactly the same as the as a nose. It's completely different on the palate. It's very nice and coats the palate. But it's gone really quickly. But you get that cinnamon, that oak, and got a few other tannins in there as well. Almost like an orange, I want to call it. Yeah, it is not that bad. Um, the nose is amazing, but the palate is not really there in my opinion. That may be because it's... Uh, the age is not there. Like I know it's only aged for two months in a smaller barrel, but I think that time really needs to be there to really get that palate maybe. Because all the nose and notes I'm getting off of the nose is just not there on the palate. It's like it's there and then it's gone. But it's still got like that peppery and kind of like cinnamon that's still hanging around and that's just about it what's on the palate. But yeah. It's pretty dang good. Um, I want to do my own experiment where actually I purchase a mini barrel and get some new make spirit, try some new things, let it age in a barrel. But I have something else that uh, I have to try. This. So here is the other thing I have to try. This is what my brother calls Black Death. This is actually a whiskey, believe it or not, based on the color. This is originally Jim Bean Ghost, just the same exact thing that he had in here. However, he took the barrel that he used to age his stuff, took it apart, and put it in this jar with this new make. And it's been like this for the past seven years. Look at that color. You can see the staves in there as well, but this color is literally black. And you know me. Let me grab a gun, Karen, and let's try it. Here we go. Ugh. 
I don't even know what this is going to smell like or what this is even going to taste like. Alright, let's pour some out. Oh my god. That's like literally black. Like it literally looks like black ink or some type of black paint that's in there. You can almost see through it like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But literally, I can't see anything through it almost. Yeah. That literally looks like black ink in a glass. Alright, let's go in for our nose. Alright, so the first thing it comes off, it literally smells like oak, vanilla, and cinnamon. And it smells like someone took the like like a giant vat of like very concentrated stuff and then concentrated it again. That's literally what I'm getting on the nose. It's literally it smells like someone took an air freshener, took all the juices, boiled it so it just has all that smells. Got rid of all the liquid and it's like condensed all the way into like a little bit. And this is what's left in there. Yeah, it's the same exact thing that I'm getting in here. However, someone took the knob that was written at like, I'll call it like level 2 and has turned it all the way to 11. Yeah, I got the apple cinnamon. It smells like a, like a, like, a uh, like an apple pie that's been baked for a long time and it's like the apples are like really tender but like very concentrated. Yeah, and the oakiness, and it's like the oak is like literally like the whole dominant note, but it's like mellowed out. Like it's right there, and it smells like a very like old whiskey or a very high mint whiskey. However, I think it's gone to a point where it's kind of plateaued and then rolled the roller coaster down, but you still got that smell right there. It almost has like a bubble gum as well. Now, yeah, it's starting to get that. A sugary, yeah, a sugary bubble gum, almost like a, I almost don't know what, what kind of bubble gum this is. But yeah, all right, let's go for a taste. Okay. The texture of this. This is a lot thicker texture. Like I can't really tell like the viscosity of this. As I look at now, like compared to some regular whiskey, this is a lot thicker. This is like very condensed. So that's probably why I'm getting all those flavors that are really condensed. Probably all the oils that came out of the barrel, all those tannins, have just flowed right out. It literally tastes like I just had some like oil or something like that, and it's just coated my whole mouth. It's all there. You got that cinnamon, apple, and like caramel, like sugary note, and like syrup. Like it's like 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 I'm drinking like syrup almost. I'm still getting on my palate. Like it literally just coated it, and it's right there. Wow. This stuff is. I never had anything like it, but yeah. It is a whiskey in some way or form that's been aged. And also, there has been no evaporation since this thing has been sealed. None of this stuff has angel share, so it's not like it's condensed down. But I think it's from those staves that literally release all the oils and all those tannins. It literally just left and just went all the way into just the liquid. And it left those staves and kind of transferred in and out over the time. And literally all that is in the liquid now. Yeah, I never tasted anything just like this. It literally tastes like I'm drinking a uh, like a concentrate, a like a vanilla extract, but it's of a bourbon with apple, cinnamon. It is something I never had. Yeah, this is. I don't know what to say about this. I kind of want to like have everyone try this. So thanks again for watching, guys. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. May the best of your past be the worst of your future. Cheers, guys.